Hi Aries, welcome to your late January 2021 reading. As you guys know, these readings are absolutely timeless and signless. So you don't actually have to be accessing this reading at this time. And you don't have to have any Aries placements within your natal chart at all. As long as you find that this reading resonates with you, then it's totally for you, okay? If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you're more than welcome. Just please know that right now there can be a wait of up to two weeks for your order to be filled. But when it's filled, it's filled with love. And so it is. <laughs> All right. Oh, Aries, let's jump in. Okay. Wow, Aries, I already feel like your cards just literally want to fly out like darts, like bullets even. <laughs> One. It wants to line up. You have something to say, Aries. Whoa, look at how these cards are presenting themselves. I'm getting like a nurse energy. So somebody here may be a nurse. You may be dealing with what feels to be a little bit of a, a slip, a slip, a change in the script. What, what do they call it? A flip of the script. A bait and switch, that's it. Right? You may be like, what is going on? Like, I thought this was this and it's not. And actually, I just did a Taurus reading and this was a card that came out. And it's funny because it was lying there the whole time, but it never came into the reading. And here it is after shuffling. It comes into your reading in the same position, but it actually is going to be featuring. So, um, spirit, uh, spirit, <laughs> I was going to say Aries. So, Aries, I'm getting this energy of a lot of confusion around you. I wouldn't be surprised if the seven of pentacles came out, but the seven of pentacles, and no, excuse me, the seven of cups came out for you. I wouldn't be surprised if the seven of cups came out for you because that card can herald confusion. However, I don't feel that it's full seven of cups because I don't feel that you have options here. It's almost like this illusion that you have options uh, about something. It's, it's almost like built, illusion built upon illusion, maybe an illusion that you have options right now and that you have to make a decision right now and that something is for you and now you're upset because you thought it was for you, but it wasn't for you in the first place and all sorts of stuff. But as I'm looking here, it's actually showing me that you're just in the land of confusion. And you know, um, what is that song? This is the what is it? This is the world we live in. Oh, remember that? These are the hands we're given. Oh, was that REM? That was REM back in the day. I might be dating myself right now, but I'm okay with that. Okay. Anyway, um, so first of all, slow your roll, Aries, before you come out guns blazing, shooting, talking about how you didn't get what you were supposed to get and how things are so confusing. You need to slow down and realize that you are looking at this all wrong. Okay. <laughs> Someone's guy just rolled in and said that. Okay. So here's your energy, Aries, calming down and look at her. She says devotion. You're like, okay, tell me what the hell I'm looking at and I'll be quiet. I promise. Okay. So what is this? Boom. Wisdom of the feminine. That's what we're looking at. Okay. So settle in and let's see what's going on. Okay. First of all, let's look at how confusing this is because I see you as saying, um, I'm here, I'm ready to listen to everything, but yet you're blocking things, right? You want to be vulnerable, but you're not allowing yourself to be vulnerable. You want to be free, but your hands feel tied down, but you're, you're the ones, one holding your own hands down. There's a lot of daydreaming, a lot of dreaming, a lot of your attention willfully being given towards this situation. And look at this, your guides are kind of like, look, we, we got nothing to say because this person is not letting us in. They want to stay daydreaming in their own way. Um, but at the same time, they're still st able to get certain things into you as you see them handing you some stuff, maybe things that help you get through your day to day and whatnot. But when it comes to this situation, you're not listening to them. You're kind of like, whatever, I don't want to hear it. I want to have my daydreams. I want to do whatever it is I want to do. And so they're saying, you see, when you are encapsulated in your own bubble, so to speak, and forcing your will to manifest in a certain way and to have a certain result, you're going to receive something that's just how it is because where where you put your attention is where things manifest okay where your attention flows something grows the question is is what is growing what's meant to be growing and is what you're you're growing a reality i'm seeing here with the dark angel card that it may not be and in fact you're starting to realize because some of you i do feel this is a relationship that you um have developed in your mind that it's going to be this and that and it's going to be blah 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 and now maybe you're involved in it maybe you're trying to get into it and you're seeing it's just not enough 
to keep you warm. You see how you created this whole bubble, this whole energy, and you want to be this, basking in this energy, right? But you see how it's all around your head, and on top of this, here you are, as we, as we see you, you know, this is how you're feeling, but when we see you here, here you are, and it's just enough to kind of give you the perception of being warm, but it's actually not. So this is, in, in, in a long story short, it, in the physical, this may look like a connection that you thought was going to go somewhere and you thought that it was going to be something and now you're realizing, wow, this is not and I'm being breadcrumbed or I'm trying to make this happen. And for somebody here, this is also like a school connection. So maybe you thought that you were going to get admission to something or some type of admission somewhere. It could be a job. It could be anything. And it's just not happening. OK, excuse me, guys. Let me take a sip of this here. So um, this reading is coming to you. They're saying courtesy of the wind. They're saying when they say courtesy of the wind, it's because they're blowing in a divine wind to kind of brush away your illusion, brush away these creations, uh, not even creations, these, yeah, I guess creations that you've made for yourself based upon premises that are not necessarily well-founded. And so as they're blowing in this wind, they're going to, as a result, release you, help release you from these thoughts, okay? So let's go ahead and put this here because that's where we are going to head to. They're going to write your mind, write your thinking. So let's see what's actually going on with this person, okay? I suddenly got a vision like, whoa, what if this is actually your person? Holy moly bananas. What? That's funny the way I said that, right? Because you guys know I actually don't talk about talk like that, but... um. I just got um, the energy of somebody at work, okay, like a coworker of mine. So maybe she's lending her energy to this to this um, reading for a reason. But anyway, um, God bless, right? It takes a village. Um, so look, I, I just got kind of a vibe like, okay, what if this is your person, but it's not now? Or what if you have to tweak something? So let's see what the story is. So they're coming here to release you of some wrongful thinking at the bottom of the deck. We have the Page of Swords. This is an issue with communication. So some of you are getting communications coming in that aren't exactly well-founded. Some of you may be watching multiple readings saying this and that. Maybe you're watching the person's sun, moon, rising readings and they're giving you different conflicting energies. You may be talking to friends, family. They're giving you conflicting energies. You may be talking to yourself. You're getting conflicting energies. So I don't mean to say listen to my reading because I don't know. I'm Look, guys, I'm, I'm discovering just as well as you are. I have an Aries placement and I channel. So that means I get surprised by things that come through as well. So I would just say, hey, if you're on the call, might as well listen. Uh, but so they're coming in to take a look at these connections and these conversations. First of all, there's a four of cups energy. So one of the things that's happening here and contributing to this false premise that you've built a lot upon and are not getting the results and you're feeling like the spirit is baiting and switching you, but actually it's because you are not looking at it properly. Okay. One of those energies is that it hasn't fully revealed itself to you as yet. There are some people like this cute little squirrel who are able to see into this cup earlier than you, but you have to remember until you see the full thing, you got to take things uh, with a grain of salt. Also, they're take, they're reshifting things around you. And anytime that they're, so you may be moving, you may be having new things happen to you, jobs, blah, blah, blah. Anytime energy shift around you, like this cute little mouse, the spirit mouse moving the cups, anytime things shift around you, it, anytime sh things shift around you, it affects what's going to be in that cup and it affects your perspective about life. So long story short, you don't have the full story as yet. Okay, first thing. Second thing, there are definitely some behaviors you need to give up, okay? Um, this is talking about doing your shadow work. Let's pull a card they're saying for underneath. Doing your shadow work, learning to stop trying to control the boat. Aries, I'm with you. Look at that, justice. Letting things balance out. What is this? Ooh, eight of pentacles. Bing! Coming in like this and let's, you know, I like symmetry. Got it. 
Ooh, ooh, this card. This is the world card about an ending, but and there's an ant on it. Thanks, ant. Anyway, um, the ending, but it's almost like things haven't even ended, and you're still trying to develop things in your life. There's just a lot of stuff going on right now. Bottom of the deck. What is it? Page page of cups in the reverse. So this love connection is another reason why this love connection is is not happening yet in the way that you thought or just whatever. Is because number one, you're trying to do too much. You're trying to control too much. You need to let it go. Let spirit control why because things cycles are ending work is happening you're being called to work on certain things the other person is being called to work on certain things everybody's working on certain things things are being built they're being built up and structured and i hate to say it but love is kind of on the back burner right now for all parties involved another reason and there's our seven of cups okay but this energy is coming through as energetic codes. So, oh, makes sense because look at this angel giving you stuff. So they're saying that another reason why things are feeling a little flurry is because you're still receiving energetic information. This is giving me vibes for somebody that I know for sure. Your, your first name starts with an E, last name, I, I, P, right? EP. Um, and guys, maybe I know multiple EPs, so don't try to guess, right? <laughs> Some of you, or some of you, including EP, you may just have gotten a spiritual upgrade, DNA activation, whatever is going on. And so you have to let these energies continue to come in because they're not done yet. I'm getting some energies all the way up to very specifically April 11th. Okay. So maybe April 11th, by April 11th, everything will have been fully downloaded, fully charged fully installed everything they're saying okay so please know that whatever's happening between now and then is kind of it's like the it's not even in yet to even be able to have the dust settle and if the dust isn't even settled how can you make determinations right now about things that are, that are working and things that are not working we're going back to this energy right here with the cup coming in you can't see what's in the cup as yet this is a prime example meaning that you can't see everything is yet in the right perspective because you still are receiving stuff on your end okay god is good thank you god look at this nine of pentacles i'm hearing god is good and thank you god because i want to praise and god knows i love my devotion but also that energy is coming in to show that some of you are actually single and thank god for that because i feel that you may have been dealing with some mask crusader or dealing with somebody oh, i just got i just got the image of a raccoon mask crusader or dealing with somebody who may have been feeling it may have been oh may have been feeling like they were less than worth anything wow so we're segueing into here so um if you're dealing with somebody who's coming through as a mask crusader or coming through with this energy of a raccoon for whatever reason i'm seeing the mask on the face you're dealing with somebody who's still going through their own kind of pattern of disavowal, they're saying. When they say that, let's feel into that energy, that means that this person is coming to terms with something that didn't work out in their life and they're coming to a place where they are being asked by spirit to make a decision about how they want to devote their life, right? Devotion. Ooh, potential. Wow, look at that. Um, what potential they want to have in their life. This other card wants to come in. Yes, death and magic. Magic. This is someone going through a very, very magical and very painful, they're saying, um, trans transmutation and they're giving me the word relocation so this could be somebody who's moved or is moving or spirit or and or spirit is moving them okay so this energy is coming in as failure to launch and that's another thing you're dealing with so long story short with this what i'm saying is that you may be dealing another reason is where you may feel bait and switched or feel like things aren't working out is because um uh, sorry i had to check the time <laughs> Thank God I, I talk fast because I like to get everything in. You guys know me. Um, anyway, it's because you're dealing with a partner who's not done their transformation as yet. And see this energy is linking to here. This person needs to be built up. They need to be in soft hands is what I'm getting. Soft, gentle hands. They may not feel that they need to because I'm seeing them be all tough. Like, I don't need your soft hands. But um, excuse me, sir. Yes, you do. And these hands are ready. Okay, my bad, guys. I'm just saying. Anyway, um, I'm also seeing them being held in like a soft mitt like a baseball mitt right so it's almost like yeah don't they like don't touch them they're like don't touch me i want to do this myself or like i'm just like Ooh. they don't want to be like they want to they, they feel like they want to just find a they want to find an, an an empty like 
you know when you walk out onto like a like if you're out in nature and then you walk out uh, into a clearing and you could see this huge lake with these snow-capped mountains right there and everything is beautiful and there's not another soul around they want to get to that place and then in that place have a nice little house with one room and that be the room that they go into so they're looking for some real real hermit energy so that's why that baseball mitt it's like you're still holding them but you're not touching them so this is somebody that let's say you could hold the space for and but don't like be bombarding them with text don't this and that right they're just not in that space right now they're going through their own thing they have very very low self-worth energy and look at this the, the higher fin coming in reverse that's what you've been dealing with okay now let's go ahead and see what's linking here eight of swords in the reverse interesting so this yeah, but oh, I love that. This is telling me that this other person that you're dealing with is eventually, they're already on that train, by the way. They got on the train that's, they made, they took the action steps to get onto the train that is bound for a place called, I'm tired of this bullshit feeling that I'm not good enough. Damn it, I'm good enough because look, I'm making decisions that are good. I'm getting jobs. I'm doing this. I'm making action steps and I'm seeing the results. And eventually when they get to that place that they're heading, which is like that place I just told you, it's the name of the city, um, <laughs> that I'm tired of this bullshit belief that I'm not good enough. When they get there, they will finally be like, oh, all those people behind me in that last place I was who was, who were making me feel like shit, they're, excuse my language guys, but you know, I am channeling their motherfucking shit. Fuck you. All of you. That's literally the energy I'm getting. So this is somebody who's going to have a major turnaround. Okay. When I say turnaround, guys, I'm like talking like, I'm like, it's so much of a turnaround, like that moment when you've been dealing with an addict, for example. Um, of course, God bless, some addicts never get over that addiction, you know, and they, you know, but if you've been dealing, if you've dealt with an addict in your life, like say a drug addict or an alcohol addict, you know when they get to a point of sobriety where there is a light in their eyes where there is an awareness there is a, re a restoration of agency where there is somebody behind the wheel and you look in their eyes and there's the spark of the divine you could see it clearly and now you could see this fully formed individual that has been basically asleep at the wheel possibly for as long as you've known them right and they are coming with such an awareness that they're like, holy moly, where I was before was not me. Those people, places, things, and situations were not me. They're not even at that place where they were like, oh God, some days I, I liked it, some days it was cool, and some days I didn't. They're way beyond that, where they're like, oh man, I look back and what was I doing? I thought that I was one of them, and I'm not. Now, the thing that can come close, oh, I just felt a lot of you ladies just sigh like, thank God, because sometimes we're just waiting around for somebody to get to that level aware of awareness. And it's hard if you want to make a life with someone like that because you cannot rush their process of awake awareness. I don't even want to say awakening, awareness. Now, the closest I can get to that to encapsulate everybody in this awareness, if you've never dealt with an addict, for example, is you remember back in high school when you were trying to be someone you weren't, you were hanging around with the wrong kids, you were wearing this and you were wearing that, and you thought you were so cool, because, and now you're, then you're like out of college, you're an adult now, you're married, you're whatever, you're like, what the was I thinking like that wasn't cool that wasn't even me I don't even talk to those people anymore like I remember I even had a fake accent I was trying to affect you know like it's that kind of energy where it's like full circle full awareness because you're no longer anywhere in that mindset at all so you see Aries you're struggling right now being all up in arms and probably upset with spirit and just confused because of all these elements you got somebody else that's transforming. You've got energetic codes still coming in, downloading. You have to release control. You can't see the whole thing. Spirit's working. You know, it's like, and look at them. They're coming in with this page of swords. I would expect that this, the level and the weight of this reading would come in as the ace of swords or at least the, 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 um, uh, ace of wands as a big club coming in of communication right but it's not they're coming with the page of swords because they're like hey the energy is like hey um by the way little aries i don't mean to you know act like i know everything but you know this is going on it's that one friend that comes in like hey 
really they want to be like are you kidding me what is wrong with you like how could you not see this right um that sounds like somebody's <laughs> that sounds like somebody's family member like it sounds like somebody's sister here for this other person maybe i don't know but also but it's like spirit is coming in they want to be like how are you not seeing this but instead they're going to come in kind of like because they see your mind's fragile they're like hey by the way, you know what? It's not you. Just chill, relax, because you got a few things going on. But don't worry, you could sleep it off, whatever. We'll talk when you're ready. But really, they're like, <laughs> okay, so that's how spirit is coming in with this page of swords. Let me check the time. God bless. And they're saying that's 1950. Okay, okay, almost 20 minutes. They're saying that's the right approach. You know, some people <laughs> may not be that good. They're coming in with this big ace of club ace of wands like wanted to beat you over the head hey you have a new beginning pump with it but spirit is like no the the approach needs to be more gentle it needs to be more like you know matter of fact okay and some of us are not built that way like my bad you know with my triple libra i think i actually have three or four placements in libras i'm pretty good with my words at times but sometimes my aries takes over i'm like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> so i am not <laughs> the best with the tower moment okay so the the and anyway me getting back to <laughs> these energy codes that are coming in including this information that's coming in for you aries these are going to lead to a tower moment for you in other words the information coming in once it's fully settled in and as it's on its way you know the tides are going to turn you're going to start to have a different perspective which is going to cause you to see things differently and i'm feeling a lot more alignment with spirit then because i'm feeling this uh roman catholic energy coming in in a loving way and it's really great i'm non-denominational okay don't worry if some of you're like roman catholic ugh, okay please all right but that's the energy signature coming in it feels great um spirit is coming in they're saying they they're like we don't care what clothes spirit is wearing they're coming in a spirit wants to wear roman catholic clothes today fine if spirit wants to wear a tree tomorrow fine if spirit wants to wear um uh a merkaba is what they're saying that's fine it doesn't matter but spirit is going to come in and help you to allay your fears to relax slow down and gently receive and as all of that happens you're going to start to see energy shift that's why the tower is here you know this non-committal energy in your other person is going to turn around and maybe they're going to be ready to commit the ace of ace of wands in your person uh, in reverse this lack of starting this failure to launch is going to turn around this five of pentacles on its side where this person's still learning to have high self-worth is going to turn around and it's gonna be ready and look at the card that wants to come in straight up as well not even tilted devotion i'm getting i'm getting a a, a pot a, a kettle so they're saying oh look there it is okay at the bottom of the deck <laughs> the ace of swords thank you spirit they're like now we're gonna drive this we're gonna bring the ace of swords to this part because this is what you're gonna want to hear they're saying oh look that card right underneath truth wow okay so they're saying with the kettle a watched pot never boils and as they're saying that they want me to blow out this candle wow is that like them dropping the mic <laughs> oh okay also they're going it's things are about to go dark for a second so i'm getting that's for you guys you may be going into separation from this person or just an all-out lack of communication is what they're saying so maybe that's why this reading had to come through so if you're dealing with somebody yeah, I'm seeing your, your face like, oh, like, oh, no way. Oh, gasp. Oh, there's an ant on there. Like, that ant is supporting. Thanks, ant. Right? Maybe somebody has an aunt who's supporting. I don't know. God bless. But anyway, so um, maybe you're going to be like, oh, I'm totally not hearing from this person. It's over. This and that. They're like, no, we just gave you a heads up. Look at everything. I do feel, though, I got to be honest, this is mostly for the month of February. So come March, things are probably going to change. All right? So please, please, please keep this this reading i almost said radio yeah radio this is like the, this is a call this is transmitted information from spirit so it is like a radio please keep this reading and this radio open on your laptop if you every day just keep it open as a tab the minute you start feeling like oh this is never going to happen or this person doesn't love me or i'm crazy i'm like play this reading again for the month of february or for 30 days from whenever you're watching this video okay god bless you if you want a personal reading with me hit me up you guys know where i'm at bye
oh my god i just felt to say raccoon eyes while doing this raccoon eyes okay sorry okay <laughs> bye <laughs>